Hello everybody. Hi, my name is Dr. Keister Bilberry and I teach Bible ministry. Thank you for coming on. Um, those who are new to this channel, please um, subscribe, comment, and like for me, okay? Um, I'm coming to you with the Word of God. Um, I just want to tell you guys how beautiful Jesus Christ is and to always spend time with Him, you know, Make sure you take time out of your busy schedules because God is longing to be with us. And for us to be so busy to where we don't have time for God, that is a no-no, a, a no-go, okay? So I'm going to come to you with the Word of God for Psalms 31, okay? So when you first wake up in the morning, you guys want to read the scripture for you and your spouse and for your children, okay? Um, let's pray. Again, our Father, we tread in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as we forgive our debt, as we forgive our debt to our forgive those who trespass and trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thy is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Thank you, Father God, for blessing us. Thank you for keeping us and loving us. Thank you for staying true to the promises of the Lord for our lives, for the book that you had designed for each individual, Lord Jesus. Jesus. So Lord, forgive me of everything I have ever done or thought of or whatever I have did and did not do. Lord, I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Okay. So when I first woke up this morning, you guys, I felt a longing in my spirit to read God's word and to do as much as spending time with him. So this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm coming to you with Psalms 31. A psalm of complaint and of praise for the choir director, a psalm of David, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys. Make sure you spend time in God's Word daily. It's not about you. It's about the Father. How can we please God, okay? You know, when we are living a life that is of this world, how can you please God? That's something that you have to uh, think about. What can you do to put a smile on God's face? You know, that where he is well pleased with you, okay? Um, so let's go to verse 1. It says here, In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be shamed. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me quickly. Be to me a rock of strength, a strong to save me. Uh, for you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead me and guide me. You will pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. So, 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 so this is talking about um, the enemies that you may have that is trying to hold you back from God and from the promises of God, who is trying to keep you from excelling, moving forward in Christ Jesus. So I, um, we're going to go ahead and continue here, but I'm going to go ahead and put you here. Please see what the word of God is saying. It says, for you are my strength and to your hand, I commit my spirit. I have ransomed uh, ransom me, O Lord, God of truth. I hate those who regard vain idols, but I trust in the Lord, okay? We must trust in the Lord with everything, with everything, guys. I, I mean, God, he is so amazing. We have to trust God with everything. You know, when our bills are going to get paid, when God opens a door for you guys, and you're like trying to figure out, well, if God opened the door for me, then he knows that, you know, he's going to he's gonna make a way to where that bill will get paid, right? And I'm a living testimony. God is doing some things that I'm like, whoa. <laughs> um, but let's go, let's continue in the word of God. But I want you guys to trust in God with everything, okay? I will rejoice and be glad in your loving kindness because you have seen my affliction. You have known the troubles of my soul and you have not given me over into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a large place. 
Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. How many of you guys are in distress right now? Okay, this word is for you. My eye is wasted away from grief, my soul, my body also. For my life is spent with sorrow, okay? And my years with sighing. My strength has failed because of my iniquity. And my body has wasted away, okay? Excuse me. <laughs> because of all my adversaries, I have become a reproach, especially to my neighbors and an object of dread to my acquaintances, those who see me in the street flee from me. I am forgotten as dead men and out of mind. Okay. Let's continue. I am like a broken vessel. Okay. For I have had heard the slander of many. Terror is on every side. While they took counsel uh, together against me, they schemed to take away my life. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. Thank you, Jesus. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to, sh your face to shine upon your servant. Save me in your loving kindness. Let me not be put to shame, O Lord, for I call upon you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them be silent and shield. Let the lying lip lips be mute, which speak arrogantly against the righteous with pride and contempt. How great is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, with which you have wrought for those who take refuge in you before the sons of men. You hide them in the secret place of your presence. Mm, thank you, Jesus. From the conspiracies of men, you keep them secretly in a shelter from the strife of the tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has made marvelous his loving kindness to me in a besieged comp uh, city. As for me, I said in my Lord, I am cut off from before your enemy, your eyes. Everything ever less. I mean, excuse me, guys. Thank you, Jesus. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplication when I cried to you. Oh, Lord. Oh, love the Lord. Oh, you, his godly ones. The Lord preserve the faithful and fully recompense the proud doer. Be strong and let your heart take courage. All you who hope in the Lord. Mm. Now that's coming to you guys with chapter 31, verse 1 through 24. Make sure you guys trust God with everything. Love the Lord with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. And lean not to your own understanding, guys. God loves us. And I don't even know how much more I can actually break down to why God loves us so much. And he knows that none of us are perfect, right? So we all go through tests and trials, but they're not meant to harm us. But it's, it's meant to make us stronger, you guys. So whatever you guys are in need of, I don't know if, if your bills are not met, you need food or you need a home shelter, you need, I mean, there's so much that people need nowadays. And we know that we're in the end times because every the whole entire environment has completely changed and we know as christians that children of god we're not going to be here much longer god has us where he wants us to be and and he already separated the tares from the wheat and you will know you will know when the rapture takes place who you know who are truly children of god but i just want to let you guys know um I thought maybe I had something else here too. Uh, I think I dropped it. But um, those of you guys who want to be saved and don't know how to go about doing it, I have prayer repentance cards here that you guys can repeat after me. Uh, Dear God, I'm a sinner against you. You alone have I sinned and I'm so sorry. I believe that Jesus came to earth. He lived sinless. He died. He was buried. 
He rose from the dead. Because he did that, he paid the price for every bad thing in my life. His precious blood washed away my sin. God, I repent and I thank you for you are a good God. I am clean because of the blood of Jesus. Now that I am clean, I boldly proclaim Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, come inside of me. Oh, I love you, Lord. Thank you that my name is inscribed in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Now that was English and this one is Spanish. Oración, cuerdo Dios, estoy un pocardo en encontrar tu. Tu solo tener yo pocardo. Yo soy lo siento, yo que que, uh, que, que Jesús vino a la tierra, bebió sin pecado el muro, el fio enterrado, resucitó de los morotos, porque lo hizo el pago el precio por cada cosa mala en mi vida, su sangre preciosa el resto mi pecado. Dios me arrepiente y te agradezco. Eres un buen Dios, estoy limpio por la sangre de Jesús. Ahora que estoy limpio, proclamo con valentía que Jesús es mi Señor y Salvador. Señor Jesús, entre en mí, o te amo, Señor. So, um, that's in Spanish, the Lord's Prayer. So, guys, uh, make sure, you know, you comment and subscribe. And um, I will see you in the next video. Remember, read Psalms 31, verse 1 through 24. I love you guys, and may God be with you.